Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Wong and I will be talking to you today about why you should come visit California, but more importantly, why it may not seem, or why it isn't as what it may seem to be. So, I'm from California, born and raised Southern, um, but coming from New Jersey, I've noted these six uh, cliches. Um, from the north on the left side, you know, marijuana stores, you know, hipster look, protests, very liberal place up north. Um, and from the south, you know, the soccer moms all done up. Um, you see Land Rovers a lot. You get a lot of women who are have more plastic in their body than actual skin. <laughs> um, but I'd like, I'm glad to inform you that um, according to the US Census Bureau, California has 38.3 million people um, noted in 2013. And of those this is kind of the breakdown of the different types of races that we have. So about 15 million are Caucasian, 14.6 million are Hispanic, um, 5.3 million are Asian, 2.5 million are African American, um, a smaller portion than that is American Indian, and then the tiny sliver at the top is other. So with all this diversity comes really, really good food. Um, you know, and we're talking real Mexican food, not um, Taco Bell or Del Taco, which is drive-through. But down south, we get you got those mom and pop shops that have real Mexican food that just tastes so good. You know, it's gonna hurt your stomach, but you eat it anyway because it's so delicious. And if anyone's visited California, uh, we have a burger joint called In and Out, and In and Out is you can get this meal, which is the number one right there. Um, for under five dollars, and it's absolutely delicious. Not even comparable to Five Guys because it's just so great. Um, and the second thing that you know California is really actually known for is its scenery. This is actually a spot by my house. Uh, you hike up a hill about 100 feet, and this is the view that you get. The first picture on the left is the is the same view as the picture on the bottom right, um, and it's just you know you've got these gaping mountains and you've got giant trees and just nature. Um, but not only that, you got a lot of architecture. You know, we have the Trans-America building in San Francisco, um, and this little uh, cafe on the corner. You know, it's just beautiful old buildings with char characteristics um, and just, you know, these beautiful creations of architecture. Also, we have Lombard Street, which is, quote unquote, the crookedest street in the United States. Um, and on average, about 2,000 cars go through it um, every month. <clears throat> We've got Lake Tahoe still up north, um, both beautiful during the summer and the winter for you know ski, snow, uh, snow sports, anything like that, and for um, boating and jet skiing and stuff during the summer. We've got Newport Huntington Beach, which are both my favorite. Um, on the left is Newport Beach, um, most commonly known from shows like the OC, The Hills, you know, very touristy spot. Um, and then on the right, uh, Huntington Beach, which is a great surf spot, um, and it's also well known because it's um, housed the U.S. Open of Surf every year. Um, we have Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks. On the left is Yosemite, uh, very, very beautiful, just mountains and colors and nature. And on the right, you have Sequoia National Parks, which is giant hundreds hundreds of years old red oak trees. Um, and that's actually a person in the top right. Um, standing there, you can just tell how big and giant and massive and beautiful these trees are. So if nature's that your thing, you know, California, there's a spot for you. Um, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric um, Association, the lowest recorded temperature in Southern California since 2000 was 36 degrees. So the term sunny in 75, is actually real. Um, you don't see much fluctuation in weather. It's absolutely gorgeous, even during the winter. Um, and that's something that really draws people in, especially during those winter times, when they want to get away from the cold, they come to California. Um, and lastly, the culture. You know, people, because there's so many different types of people, and there's so, there's so many people, you know, everyone's really accepting of each other. Um, like these polar bears, you know, you can just kind of kick back and relax. Um, or you can find yourself at the beach just, you know, reading a book, anything that you want, California has for you. Um, things such as the Orange County Street Fair down south. This is something I go to, well, used to go to every year since I moved here. 
um, and it's designed in a star where each street um, actually has different stands. So here are some, you know, Polynesian, Norwegian, German, you've got China, you've got Japanese, you've got Switzerland. There's um, just tons and tons of different foods, you know, little activities to do. Um, just a great place to, you know, learn about the different cultures that people have in California. Um, regional, up north, you get um, there's just tons and tons of people. It's what we call like a melting pot. And so on the right hand side, this is actually the Autumn Moon Festival in Little Chinatown. Um, and on the left side, it, you know, Southern California is really known for its relaxation and mental health and just people who love being where they are and what they're doing. Also in California, though, you do get some strange things. So things such as Venice Beach in the top left corner. Um, the muscle man who likes to work out in a little to no clothing bathing suit. And up north, um, UC Santa Cruz's act, uh, mascot is a banana slug. What is that? I have no idea. But they're a banana slug. Um, and you get signs that say no to drugs and say yes to tacos. You know, if that's not a motto, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so in conclusion, I talked about the diversity of California, the landscape, you know, the great weather, the different types of nature. Um, and lastly, I talked about the culture, so the people. Um, and basically, California, you know, coming from there, it's just, it's a place to go, it's a place to see, and I encourage you to come and join.